Hello there, lovely soul. This is Infinity and welcome to your May 2021 Cancer Tarot and Oracle reading. Welcome cross watchers, sun, moon, and rising. And then I suggest you check out the other videos for your full picture as well as the full moon to new moon reading that I put up just a few days ago. So those kind of overlap for you. Again, I'm Infinity, shaman, mystic, psychic, physical, empath, medical medium, quantum distance healer, channeler, astral meditation guide, ascension coach, medium, and I am also a divinely guided artist. And my website is thehealingbutterfly.org. Check it out for all of my services, private reads, distance energy healing, ascension coaching, ebooks, my podcast, all sorts of goodies on there for you. Lots of information. And I just posted, I'm going to take those. I just posted uh, a new video about empath. So empath info with the quiz. And that is available now on my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're starting off with a light seers Oracle. I'm sorry, light seers tarot. And then we're going to get into a very special uh, Oracle. Whoa. Just Wow. Just using the uh, Kim Kranz archetype uh, oracle deck separated by the selves, the places, the tools, and the initiations or the themes. And uh, then we'll get into one oracle card message after that. So let's see what we have here. We're going to get one more card rounded out here. And let's see what I'm picking up for you, Cancer. Okay. So we have the Hanged Man. I'm just going to check in and see. I have a couple cards here. I have the Hanged Man and then the Magician. Are they in reverse or are they straight up? We're going straight up. So the hangman, whoops, <laughs> the hangman straight up. The magician straight up. Three of cups straight up. Ace of cups straight up. The ten of pentacles straight up. And the Seven of Wands, straight up. Okay. So, <sighs> so we are in a phase of seeing things differently. Like you have gone through a period of, um, a new perspective, gaining new perspective, having a new awareness, um, seeing things differently, being connected. The magician card one of the major arcana. So we have the hangman and the magician of the major arcana. Then going off to the three of cups. Sorry. Three of cups, ace of cups, ten of pentacles, seven of wands. So what I'm feeling here with this card is new beginnings with new people, letting go of the old, really getting into heart center, feeling love, um, heart chakra opening, um, feeling um, like deeper emotions, really kind of getting deeper about things, um, contemplating your next move, who's going to be involved in that. There's a lot of busyness going on projects, busy. Um, and, and, uh, Starting something new, starting something new from a much higher perspective, Cancer, from a much higher perspective and having a lot of um, uh, uh, support, your guides and guardians, really supporting the, your projects, your work. You've been working really hard. 
um, you're seeing things differently, you're really tuning in, you're like, I am really into figuring out what I'm meant to be doing and doing that and coming from a place of um, like soul centered, a soul centered place. So really having like, like let go of fear, let go of illusions, of obstacles, that sort of thing. That's not here at all, which is awesome. Okay, let's get into the, um, the archetype oracle so we can get some more information here. Okay, so we're going to start out with the, um, the selves portion of the archetype oracle. And these have been, this is the third one I've done the, of this, of this, um, set up for the, the, for the May readings. And I'm really digging it. They're really on point, very much in theme and alignment. So I'm really interested to see. Um, to see what we have here for you for the selves. Cancer. There. Oh, we got the self. Uh, I'm not usually turning these over until I get all of them. But there you go. Then we have the places. I'll show you these once we're done. Oh, the ocean i guess i'll tell you about them as they come out um and then we have the tools <laughs> and we have the tier and next for initiations and the the or initiation or theme oh that's it. <laughs> They're jumping. Kairos. Okay, so the self. The ocean. The tear. And do 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 Kairos. figure out how these are supposed to go like that Kairos. okay so let's get right to the book the self coming so th in the selves um grouping one of the card is the self so just so that's not real confusing page number 119 Okay. The soul, the witness, the watcher, the self is the prism that allows a spectrum of our personalities to radiate. It does not judge, prohibit, suppress, or oppress any of its parts as it lovingly knows that all aspects have a time and a place and leads us to experience the full breadth of life's offerings. The self is the central abiding container, the awareness of the infinite universe of possibilities. When this card appears, it's a call to step back into witness consciousness, to observe yourself navigating the world. Ask yourself, I am I the stew or am I the chef? I like that. In most situations, our ego draws us into the cauldron where we swirl, spin, and smolder in chaos. Yet, the self is a graceful culinary dancer, watching, waiting, observing, as a spectrum of ingredients come become the flavor of our life. Look in the mirror for 30 seconds or more. Attempt to see the you behind the you. And when light, witnessing, accepting new aspects of self. When dark, disjointed, fatigue, diffused energy, and purpose. So there is the self. Um, 
yeah i mean you're like i said you're in this you have this new perspective you're seeing things differently you're connecting differently your self is evolving and changing and coming into a new phase of being um i'm hearing energy clearing needs to be done so you can pass through this this portal as easily as possible and really bring in all of the information like the magician can if you're um if we think about uh manifesting and the power of manifestation um i feel like you have that here with this magician card um coming in here that there is this definite like um powerful energy to just uh magnetize things to you and you may be satisfied with that you may be like yeah i think you know once i put my mind to it or shush once i put my mind to it or i just you know i give it attention i get into things i it it happens but there's always room for more potent um energy as an alchemist as a manifester as a seer as a messenger as a channeler as a connector as a healer as any of these things and you could be one or all of those things quite honestly cancer um what needs to happen is is this this self card is saying we need to cut away from the things that kind of fracture ourselves and that is energy and experience energy trauma things like this that create as i'm seeing this she talked about the prism but what i'm seeing here is just slices and and the whole needing to come together and to do that we need to eliminate the blocks of energy that was is within the the body vehicle the energy body vehicle okay so let's go to the ocean uh card number oh, i hate like these i just rather go to the contents easier to find do, 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 do. 135 okay here we go the ocean the unconscious the depths the incomprehensible and there is your ocean card once again okay the power of the ocean is unmatched to step into its salty waters is to step into the unknown by its sheer volume the ocean represents the the unconscious all that is beyond our understanding. We cannot live within the ocean. We cannot claim it, manage it, or own it. It rejects our every attempt to dominate, uh, to attempt to dominate nature. Yet, amid its overwhelming power, it calls to us, inspires us, and invigorates our life on land. It dissolves the little us into the big us when the energy of the ocean is present. There is change stirring that is beyond any change you've known before. The ego must dissolve. The uh, Selene swells work in your very cells, uh, your fibers, your deepest underlying beliefs. Like Aphrodite, we rise from the ocean's froth, a new being. Life is change. Let the wave cry rash wow so when light deeper than deep big dreams discovery and when dark uh assumed drowned pol polluted unpredictable wow there you go so we talked about um change and seeing things differently of course um and it says here you this 
uh, when the ocean is present, there is change stirring that is beyond any change you've known before. Remember, pulling all of this together, like eliminating all of these these slices into one. Like I'm seeing somebody like going into the ocean for the first time again like again for the first time like you different you upgraded and this water energy is really coming in for you cancer you are a water sign obviously um so um but water is definitely healing i'm actually putting together a healing um session with water and um where i work with my clients as they're in water i'm super excited about it it's kind of reminding me of that like very healing force to extract energy and to give vitality and life force and this ocean card is saying um is drawing you to the ocean drawing you to water drawing you to that big expansive unknown and wanting you to just walk in just walk in and go and just let yourself sink kind of thing okay and then we have the tools is the tear so let's find that another water and more healing but i want to read it to you. the tier 169 Okay, and here is the tear. All right, the morning, the release, the rain. Tears are droplets of letting go. Once they begin to fall, we allow the swelling tide of emotion to run its elemental course. Often the tear is what is needed in order for a conversation or situation to break into the next level of intimacy and vulnerability. Some say that tears are so powerful in softening our egos that they open up a portal to the unseen world. Through our watery eyes, the ancestors catch a glimpse of us and we are reminded of their eternal embrace. We sense our humanity, our humility, and we allow ourselves to be held. It is likely this card appears when there is grieving yet to do, a sinking down into disappointment or despair. That, once acknowledged, will bring a shimmer of clarity to our dewy eyes. And when light melody melancholy flowing through when dark drowning drama murkiness okay so there's definitely along with you know this energy healing and stuff it's the releasement of energies of yeah i'm hearing more disappointment more like let down hurt feelings um where even though you see the greater picture as the magician, as the hangman, having a different perspective, especially a new, changing, different perspective. You get it, but it still hurts. It still affects you emotionally that these things happen with these people, the situation, this um, chaos or drama. Um, and this could be, this could stem back from, you know, childhood um, to, you know, adolescent relationships, to loss of work, job, money, to um, fractures in romance and marriages and being separated from children, to um, friends backstabbing you, wanting to manipulate you, um, dark forces coming in and, and, and creating chaos and havoc and and you know that you're on a certain path but there's all this opposition and you keep striving forward you get it and you keep just like all right got it let's go like you're you're figuring it out and you understand it but at the same time it's like there is you're really good at, at just like stepping over the carnage and moving on i'm seeing <laughs> like a crab like all right we're gonna get over this like the ca cancer crab that you are but at the same time that's like not it's not dealing with it so i feel like with the tear it's telling you along with the oceans that we have water energy here twice and there is really something to be said when it comes to the releasement of tears and how healing that is because in our very water um of our body and we're 60 percent water 
um, in the very water or more, the very water of our body and our cells and our makeup and our chemistry and our quantum physic um, energetic body, what is energy is contained within our vessel and our vessel is mostly water. Our emotions are ruled by the element of water that is why when we cry it's water it's not dirt it's not air it is water and within that water that is us is the actual energy of the hurt the pain the trauma the chaos so when we cry we typically feel better afterwards because we're releasing that energy literally in a tangible form through our tears. This is why sometimes when we start crying, it's hard to stop because once we once that energy, it's like a volcano. Once that energy cracks open and starts to pour out, it's like, yes, and everything that's that's behind it wants to come out with it, too. And I feel that that's a big component of what needs to happen. Crying would be great, but just if you're if that isn't flowing freely with you then you know just really stop and think about do some inventory do some deep cord cutting is definitely necessary um i have an ebook on the importance of cord cutting with companion meditations i highly suggest because it's like in neon fingers pointing to it for you cancer this needs to be done you can start self-healing by doing that by working for and with yourself and then really consider working with somebody like myself somebody that can really go to deep places with you energetically get answers with Gaia work with your spirit guides work with archangels to help remove energies that are keeping you kind of fragmented within the whole now let's go to Kairos. Okay, mythic. Mythic time synchronicity. We have all had the experience of timelessness, of life beyond the ticking of the clock. It may be felt as time standing still, slow motion, or losing track of time on a walk or in a lovely conversation. This is known as mythic time, and it is the territory of Kairos. This card suggests there is a secondary time continuum that goes beyond the earthly clocks and schedules. I'm there often, it definitely exists. <laughs> Let me just tell you. A single moment ripens with auspiciousness and our actions change the trajectory of our whole life. Time becomes a living thing that watches over us and tells us precisely when to speak or act. When this card appears, it is all about patience and precision. No clock can guide you. Wait for the rush of inner knowing and not a moment longer. Cancer. Oh, wow. It's making my third eye do things and I'm starting to itch. Okay. Um, when light alignment ease in decisions and action and when dark fighting against time or you know procrastinating not going as guided you know be, like being like getting that push 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 and you ignoring it not doing it and putting it off and and all of that stuff um of course there is a right time there is a right time for doing everything timing is kind of everything we can do the same thing on the first and the same thing on the 15th but the energetic impact for us and everybody around us can be totally different because things are different between the first and the 15th right so this energy with kairos is wanting you to pay attention to um, synchronicities to uh, messages to divine guidance on a and on and and if you feel time slipping if you're 
um, if you're led in certain ways, you just know, like, I was meant to be, I was meant to know this, I was meant to see this, I was meant to meet you, I was meant to work with you, whatever it is, um, just go with it, stop, don't second guess it, don't spend, don't be like, well, I'll think about this for a while, should I do this, you know, workshop, um, course, healing, um, trip, uh, um, retreat, vacation, like project, artwork, writing, article, whatever that these things are that, you know, should I involve this person? Should I eliminate this person? Should I, like, there's just things that are just going to be like coming through to you at such a precision type timing, I'm feeling that it's going to be kind of a no brainer. And it's just more of that is going to happen for you. Um, but there is, you know, obviously, we're always growing, we're always evolving, we're always healing. And what needs to happen here is for you to take these steps into this next phase, like you're definitely going in one way or another. Let me put it this way. You're on the freeway or the highway, the expressway that you need to be on. You're on that road you need to be on. Now, how fast you go, how it works out, how it happens. Now, you could be on the road in the passenger seat, in the driver's seat, in the back seat asleep. Where, you know, where are you taking control of this? Are you going to be more passive, more aggressive in your change? Are you going to kind of take the bull by the horns kind of thing and make it happen? Not let time. It says don't let a moment longer go on um, with with what needs to happen, with, with the guidance coming in, with the synchronicities, synchronicities, with the numbers, with the angel messages. There's so many things coming at you at certain times that, you know, it can feel overwhelming and you can kind of back off and kind of put a screen in front of you to just be like, like kind of ignore it even. But again, that goes back to just too much and too fractured with like certain stuff and needing to bring in the whole so you can be... Um, so you can have a, a stronger engine for in for your for your vehicle to go forward. Like quite literally, this is what I'm seeing. Um, okay, so next we're going to get into an uh, an oracle. Let me just tap in here which one we're going to use. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling all of them. It's weird. Um, let me use the pendulum because <laughs> sometimes I need help with they're all like I'm feeling a lot of guidance and energy coming through. Um, let me just use the pendulum here. You're going to go with dragon. Hmm. Not moving. We're going to go with hidden hidden worlds. Just going back and forth so it's not changing here. So that, by process of elimination, must mean here we go. Yep, we're getting into the fairy oracle. Check it out. Okay. I was just going back. I was like switching channels. They're all, they're all very, they're all connected in their own way. Um, they're all by the same uh, person. So, um, but these are the three decks that I'm guided to use for these readings for the um, new month. So, um, so yeah, sometimes I need help, especially with tarot and oracle. I need help to get into um, like which cards I'm using when there's just a lot of energy coming from all of them or just your all your guides in general. It's like there's no wrong answer here. I could have picked any any of them, but I just like to be precise. I'm kind of that way. So as you can see, oh, there we go. As you can see from our from the pendulum how that worked, it was just swinging. It wasn't saying no. It was just neutral back and forth, just not. And then it just starts to go when it's the right one. Okay, snail's pace. How adorable is that? Oh, card number 20. Wow, this is, I've seen so many, this is card number 22, and I've seen sequences of twos several times. 
um, today. So anyway, um, pay attention to your tw 22 number if that's, if that's significant to you. Um, slow down, grounding, listen for the heartbeat of the earth, subtle energies. Let me grab the book here. Um... Okay, snail's pace, slow down, grounding, listen for the heartbeat of the earth, subtle energies. This beautiful fairy is entranced by the graceful slow motion movement of her friend, the snail. She observes such movement forward and understands how far he comes, though in comparison to her, he moves slowly. She reminds us that we all travel, travel at our own pace and that there is much to be said for taking time to slow right down and observe the signs around us. This snail has the time to converse with the fairy, to have conversation, to share, to show. She has not rushed through this encounter and she has become quiet, centered, and observant as a result. In this space, you are able to discern what is truly taking place and read the signs around you. When all is rushed and hurried, when all is the barrage of smells and light and shocks that our world can be, slow movement can seem less vital. But she asks you now to slow down, to sit down with your mother, the earth, and watch the life of her creatures. As you do, know that you too are one of her creatures. The one of, and one of your roles is to read the signs and the movements of all creatures, no matter how humble. Please understand that you have the right to do nothing from time to time. Within that quiet, peaceful place comes fresh energy for inspiration, creativity, and cooperation. Without it, we can burn the resentment we can burn with resentment even as we overcome our own hardest even as we overcome our own hardest taskmaster task task master wow no one is in charge of you but you you are the authority in your own life and you have the right to call a for a timeout and assess your life you may feel estranged from your magical divinity, but please take the time to reconnect and witness the pace and loving energy that flows in your life, creating loving communication, enriching work, and boosting your creativity. Divinatory Meanings the fairies can see beneath the shell you present to others and they know too that you doubt your own impact and influence, but they look upon you tenderly and they wish for you to take this time to slow down, find your own pace and place in the world, and to go your own way. This fairy's appearance signifies oh so strongly that it is time for you to find the path that is your own. While others may see you as lazy or even slow and a little foolish, that is none of your business. It is time to slow down, to check your pace, and to find the rhythm that feels best to you. And know that you have a fairy guardian watching over you, happy to see you moving into your own energy, time, and space. You can be lonely at times and need to be aware of your surroundings. Your hard shell protects a sweet and soft being. You leave behind silvery beauty and energy stream that is discernible to those who are sensitive as are you. Do not confuse slowing down for a time of stasis as from this soft contemplation of a gentle pace you will create anew. When you observe the creative forces that you have mustered together and released into the material world, you will realize that your thoughts have created a tangible reality about you. What do you see that you love? What would you like to incorporate into your life? There will soon be many new choices. For now, please work on nurturing, protecting, and loving yourself by keeping a slow and gentle pace. Pay attention to what is happening in each moment. Listen to your heartbeat. Feel the echo throughout creation. And the reverse meeting, even though it didn't come out in reverse, but I like to, to give that info for... Um, contrast 
Reverse meaning. There is a feeling that you must push and push and push yourself at present. You feel guilty about slowing down and simply being. There's a feeling that you simply must fill up every moment of space. There is an opportunity to take stock at present, but you may be engaging in avoidance behavior, creating tasks even when tr none truly exist, placing high expectations on yourself so, never so you never take it easy, and even holding others responsible for your self-inflicted excessive o workload. Okay, so there's a couple things that came out with this. Number one, it was really um, obvious how alike these two cards are because of the fact that this is talking about time synchronicity paying attention and so is this one they're both talking about these things um and going slower seeing things differently so we have that um theme going on here cancer um, going slow, seeing things differently, connecting, reestablishing who you are, slowing down the pace. You, you're, again, you are the captain of your ship. You're the driver in the driver's seat. You're the one can either um, push forward, you know, press on the gas, go really fast, press on the brake, pull over, do any of those things. It's very true. And at present, going being in control paying attention and going at a pace that allows you to um to reconstruct from the inside out is exactly what's needed like i said um clearing energy healing energy restructuring the inner workings with less density within the body is exactly what's needed because that's like taking away the traffic on that road um it's clearing the path but um all that traffic is you and yourself and sometimes if there's too much chaos too much busy too much go 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 not getting enough rest not um getting enough nature you know things like this not meditating not not you know getting answers but then not doing the advice of the answers that come through just you know like that sort of thing because you're busy 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 you know this this type of, of energy so with that said cancer i guess your advice and your job this month in may is to slow things down pay attention to the synchronicities pay attention to the messages coming you can't listen and speak at the same time. So you can't be, you know, in in a state of, you know, fast paced movement and seeing and bringing in all the details at the same time. It just doesn't work that way. Um, so you're being guided to get into this space, get into this space, you know, very similar um, um, for healing for working with your energy, for clearing that energy. So just imagine having a bowl of sooty, gunky energy, water, and that energy is going to be low vibrational. Now, imagine filtering it out, cleaning that water, getting it fresh again. Those are the differences that we're talking about here. All right. <laughs> Cancer. This was a great reading. I hope it resonates with you. I hope that you take these messages and really work with them in the month of May. It's a pleasure doing this for you. Again, please check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org, to see if there's one-on-one -on -one work we can do together from um, connecting you with your uh, loved ones, your ancestors, um, doing deep energy healing. I have um, a program called the Evolve Now program. It is two days of deep intense healing a month of working with me um, on your ascension and connection spirituality physicality clearing you out energetically getting you super connected with gaia and your guides so i'm being guided to let you know about that and i offer a free consultation with a mini energy clearing for those who want to do the program and discover more about it so again i invite you to take a look at that other than that please comment your experience here in this video uh like share and subscribe if you haven't already check out my new m 
empath video it's empath info and the quiz as well as my ebook that is a companion to that and with that said cancer have a beautiful may sending you lots of love infinite love and blessings bye for now